what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install Linux on your jailbroken PS4 keep in mind that this is for firmware 5.05 firmware okay so if your PS4 is on that firmware then you're good to go also guys I'll be only installing Linux in my next video I'll show you how to play um, GameCube games PS1 games, Nintendo 64 games, um, PSP games, and also PC games using the Linux. But today's video is only installing Linux. So you, you guys can subscribe to see the next video whenever it comes out. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All the links will be in the description, so read through the description. Okay, so right here guys, we have the files that we are going to be using. These three files should go on the portable hard drive that you're going to use. Make sure that your portable hard drive is at least 250 gig because you need enough space to play around with when you're done. All right. So right here, I have my portable hard drive and it's in it's in NTFS format. So Windows doesn't allow you to um, format this into FAT32 so we're going to use FAT32 GUI formatter so we're going to go ahead and open it now you want to remember your portable hard drive letter mine is M right here as you can see it says M so let's go ahead and search for M and that's it make sure you select the right drive because this will format everything on your hard drive okay all right, so once you select the, the right drive, go ahead and press start. Okay. And that's it. The hard drive has now been formatted to FAT32. So we can now go ahead and open it back up. Let's check it. And as you can see, FAT32 and the letter is still M. So let's go now and copy all these three files and paste it on our portable hard drive okay so now that all the files have copied over to a portable hard drive let's go ahead and eject our portable hard drive and let's head over to the ps4 okay guys so now that we're on the ps4 you want to go ahead plug in your portable hard drive and make sure that you guys have a usb keyboard because we we're going to do some typing and a usb keyboard just make things a lot easier so if you have a usb keyboard go ahead and plug it in there we go and let's head over to the internet browser right here uh, press yes if you get that message go up to your URL bar and guys you want to make sure that you type the same exact um, search address right there I'll leave it in the description so make sure you guys type it exactly the same way press yes if you guys keep, keep getting that message just press yes and just give it time to load and that's it okay guys so once it's load up the files on your portable hard drive um, as you can see in the left hand corner we now have a section to type um, keep in mind guys that um, everything will be written on your portable hard drive nothing is gonna be messed with on your PS4 okay all the files on your PS4 are gonna still be there everything will take place on your portable hard drive okay make sure you guys keep that in mind okay so let's go ahead now and type this command in the type section so you want to type e x e c space install dash p s x i t a r c h full stop s h okay once you type that go ahead and press enter on your keyboard and all the files will install on your portable hard drive nothing will be messed with on your ps4 system your ps4 is totally safe all the files are going to be on your portable hard drive all right so give it time for this to take place um it's going to take a long time guys probably probably like an hour maybe less 
maybe an hour okay so give it time okay guys so it's finally done installing th everything on the portable hard drive so if it doesn't boot automatically um, this is what you need to type down in the left hand corner so you want to go ahead now and type e x e c space s t a r t dash p s x i t a r c h full stop s h once you type that go ahead and press enter on your keyboard and there we go so just give it a little bit more time okay guys so that's it as you can see we now have Linux running on our PS4 guys this is awesome please guys keep in mind that at this point you can remove your USB keyboard and also you can connect a mouse to your PS4 or, or you can um, use your PS4 um, connected with the USB cable then you can use the touchpad on your PS4 controller to move the mouse around so two choices connect your PS4 controller using using the USB cable or you can just plug a USB mouse and that's it also whenever you do this for the first time your PS4 will move a um, really laggy so you have to reboot the PS4 and then run the Linux again and everything will be perfectly fine but this video is for installing Linux only I'll show you another video how to run the games like um, um, Dolphin emulator PS1 emulator PSP Nintendo 64 and all of that stuff so if you click on this icon right here with your mouse or your controller yours gonna look like this your menu probably look like this and as you can see there's no game option okay so what you want to do is click on the the JWM right here and then you want to turn on the desktop mode okay so just click it on your mouse or your controller you're gonna get this message right here press OK the PS4 will go black for a few seconds now as you can see Linux load right back up again so if we go to the icon over here again and press on your controller you can see that we have a full menu now so we have the game section right here with all the emulators I'm gonna show you guys how to use these in my next video okay so as I said guys when you do this for the first time make sure that you guys um, restart your PS4 so I'm gonna go ahead restart it and you guys are gonna see that it loads up a lot faster so I'm just gonna click return to Arbis or you can do turn off PS4 it's up to you guys but I'm gonna do this one okay so the PS4 has been rebooted let's go ahead and log in let's go back over to internet browser and I'm just doing this to show you guys that it loads a lot faster okay so press yes if you get these messages press ok yes and that's it so just give it time guys let it loads up and remember that you should have the portable hard drive or USB stick plugged into the PS4 so just make sure that it stays in and as I said before nothing has changed on your PS4 everything take place on the portable hard drive and there you go if you have your mouse connected to the PS4 or your PS4 controller connected you can just use the touchpad to move it around so let's go ahead and turn on this option again for some reason it keeps disabling so if that happened just enable that mode again and 
press OK. OK, let's check it back now. And there you go. We now have the game section right here. So as I mentioned before, guys, I'm going to show you how to use these in my next video. Alright, so turn on the post notification so when I post my next video, you'll be notified. Okay, guys, if this video was helpful, please leave a like, share the video around, and also you guys can subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.